what's up guys this is ron from standing with traditional archery and uh you know what i'm going to be taking you guys a little bit behind the scenes of just how we do things here at standing wolf we're going to try and make this kind of a behind the scenes vlog style thing that will have you guys be part of it so what you guys just saw right there was uh, i'm basically cutting out grips for our new quivers uh, we got a lot of orders to fill i'm going to be taking you guys uh basically with me right now i'm going to field test all the gear so you guys can see how we make it and basically how it works so you're right there with us so first things first, we got a photo shoot to do. We just made new arm guards. We got to take pictures for it for the website, get it all up to, up to date, make it go live, and uh, so you guys can check it out. So let's get going. All right, so I'm gonna do a little bit of product photography uh, for the arm guard, and I got a little bit of a surprise guest with me in my backpack. I think you guys are gonna like it a lot. But uh, this is looking like a pretty cool spot. Uh, you know, one of the things as a small business owner, you gotta wear many hats. I'm sure you who have a business at home, you know how it is. So one of the hats I gotta wear is this one right here, the Standing Wolf traditional archery hat. <laughs> I'm just joking, all jokes aside, uh, you know, I gotta be a photographer. So uh, photographer, video editor, you know, to make and design products, test them out. And uh, you know, there's a lot to do especially doing it from home and uh, having a young family, young kids to, uh, to raise as well too. But uh, that aside, this has got to get done and it's, it's a lot of fun. I try to do everything outdoors so that, uh, you know, it's, it's archery, it's, it's trad, it's, it's an outdoor thing, right? So I think it really makes a lot of sense, but I think it's a pretty good spot to set up. So let's do that, get going. Okay, there we go. Uh, so that's done. We got that taken care of. Uh, you know what? It's time to reveal the secret surprise here. You know, we got a couple nice shots here. I'm looking forward to editing these and get these on the website. But uh, there's one more secret surprise that we're actually going to do a photo shoot. You don't need to see this part, but uh, I will show you guys what I got in my bag here. Here we got our five grip mossy oak bottom land. Strap on can or uh, strap on quiver. I'm really excited about getting these up and live on the website. Uh, Kadora nylon, so this is waterproof, super tough. I mean, this fabric is made just to take a beating. It's meant to get his ass kicked, and uh, you know, take a beating and keep on going. So it's it's really great, and I love and I absolutely love the bottomland camo pattern. So this is going to be coming up. Pay uh, pay close attention to the website. I'll obviously make an announcement, but. Uh, yeah, something I'm really excited about. Yeah, so what I'm going to be doing now is getting this set up to do a, a test run. I'm going in the bush tomorrow. I'm going to take this with me. And with any luck, there's success. And, you know, <laughs> this will be a part of that, the part of the winning team. Okay, I got that done. Uh, back home, I got to basically retune this bow. I'm taking it to the bush tomorrow. I'm, I'm going to the tree stand for the first time this year. Um, I didn't have success earlier this year with turkeys. I'm hoping to see a turkey. I'm um, also hoping to see a deer. If there's a nice buck or doe, I'm, I'm thinking about taking one. So I'm going to go home, get this bow retuned. Uh, it's pretty close now. I'm just going to make some adjustments and get my arrows finalized. And uh, yeah, tomorrow we're hitting the bush. Okay, guys. Well, I'm uh, kind of embarrassed to admit it, but I'm down to my last four arrows. <laughs> These guys have been through a lot. This is going to be their last farewell. I'm going to be buying some woodies for the spring. And uh, I'm going to get some more carbons. I love shooting carbons. But uh, yeah, these are the last four. I got the uh, the carbon legacies, which I'll probably get more of. I really love these. And I wish they didn't continue, discontinue the uh, Axis Traditionals because I just love these. And I kind of modified them just a little bit color-wise to be more like the Fred Eichler uh, Axis Traditionals. Uh, I like the white. I like how they did that this year. But these are the originals. So I got to put some new fletchings on these and uh, I got to give a shout out to Mike and Tyler at uh, a Boyer. I mean, their broadheads are so good. Now they're the new owners and uh, you know, they've got uh, a lot of, a lot of stuff that they have to uh, really get acquainted with, with their uh, manufacturing. But that, to be honest, they got a great, a great handle on things. Cause he, uh, I got these off them and these are their 200 grain uh, boneheads and they are just blistering sharp. I mean, I get a little uh, shave test and they're just 
ridiculously sharp. I love these. These are, I can't wait to use these. Uh, highly recommend just the build quality. And again, for anyone who has them, you know what I'm talking about. There's a reason why this is on there. This is just ridiculously sharp. My wife's going to think I'm totally messed up <laughs> with a ball patch. Let's do it. I mean, it's crazy. It's just crazy. So anyways, these are, uh, I'm looking forward to getting this set up all finished. Put some fleshings on these, uh, on these bad boys. And send them out in a blaze of glory. Let's do this. Okay, well, let's uh, give this a shot. Cold shot right off the top. 100, I'm oh, sorry, 580 grain arrow. It's a 45 pound bear grizzly I'm using. Make this happen. Okay, cut it. There you go, cut it. Uh, you know, one of the things that I remember uh, Jeff Cavanaugh mentioning to me about target acquisition, not to follow. You don't want to time it. You want to be able to follow it, track it, and be able to hit it because of that. That's what he really meant by that to me. At least that's what I took from it, is that to be instinctive is not to time it, to make some sort of gimmick out of it. It's to actually track it. And although it's a swinging, it's essentially a swinging target, but, uh, yeah, I, I have to think that Jeff knows what he's talking about and you know, he's a big inspiration to me. So thanks Jeff, uh, I love your videos. <laughs> Anyways guys, I'm gonna get this quiver set up. Yeah, I think it's uh, just about to be finalized and just do a, a gear inventory and a little once over and I think we're ready to hit it up and head out there and test our luck. So let's go check it out. Okay, so it's sanding time. I'm gonna be getting quivers ready to go. Got uh, more orders to fill. Uh, so we're going to be taking this uh, raw block, this is all cut by hand, and I'm going to be sh or, uh, sanding it by hand to get the shape to fit eventually uh, the qu quiver hood. So it's a bit of a process and obviously you got to have this proper safety uh, equipment. I'm just going to let you guys know, if you ever try to make something with foam, wear the safety equipment. I mean, it's no joke. I accidentally inhaled just a tiny little bit of stuff and I wasn't even sanding foam. It has still the sander still had foam in it and honestly it's no joke i i thought i was gonna die i it's it's very serious wear the proper gear guys so anyways let's uh let's get these sanded up and uh these quivers ready to shoot upset all right well there we go i got to got the shape down pretty much exactly where i need it to be shape wise it's looking pretty good um moment of truth really let's see if this fits just about there if not there actually i'm looking to have it snug but not not ripping the foam shoving it in but otherwise i think it's almost there i think we're good i think we're good Needs to be a touch more, but you get the idea though, right? So everything's just essentially hand sanded until further notice. Uh, we're hand sanding everything. Um, what we're probably going to do in the near future is just to keep up with the, the volume is we're going to have to do figure out some sort of injection molding thing. So, but until further notice, uh, everything is hand done. So, all right, cool. Well, we've got that taken care of. Got the big guy mask up working away okay so we're gonna give this a test run i'm gonna shoot up some more arrows uh, then we're gonna pack up get ready to hit the bush night and uh you're gonna join us join me for the ride so let's get going guys
Yeah. The wind's not looking too good right now. Thermal's changed up on me. Shortly before I came down here, the wind switched up. change things up a bit. I'll probably stick it out in another couple of minutes. I still have enough time to switch spots. Let's see how it goes. Well, I think I'm pretty pretty much busted for uh, spotting men. I'm going to have to reassess the uh, position. And obviously, just a uh, luck of the draw at the wind but uh we'll be coming back this is uh it's first day out it's no big deal anyways guys thanks for joining me i will be doing these more often so hope you guys enjoy and uh you know take care and hope you have a great rest of your day thanks so much